So in this example, we're asked to determine the balance, balancing mass for the following propeller. So we have three blades, a slight difference in the mass of each blade, and a slight difference in the center of gravity for each blade. Okay, so if I roughly want to do uh, roughly want to do this as a sketch, so twenty point zero one, so m r, so the mass by the radius for this is six point zero two at an angle of uh, ninety degrees, twenty kilograms by three by three hundred meters millimeters is uh, six. Um, at that angle, and then 20.02 um, by 302 is 6.04. So my solution is going to be, you know, a small enough value and roughly at zero degrees. Okay, or so it's on the horizontal. So it's it's going to be very close. So roughly, that's what my uh, what my answer is going to be. Okay, there's redrawn, and there's uh, there's the answer. Right. So to balance it, <coughs> the forces in the horizontal axis uh, should equal to zero, and the forces in the vertical axis should. Equal equal to zero. But if I just take the forces in the horizontal axis force, so we're saying M1, R1, so these value here, cosine T to 1, plus M2, R2, cosine T to 2, so these values here, plus M3, R3, cosine T to 3, those values there, plus some balancing mass. Um, you know, let's assume it's here. Actually, no, nope. let's assume it's here, because that's where it is. Get rid of that. <clears throat> when we add them all up, that should be equal to zero. Or, <clears throat> if I bring this to, to the other side, so if I bring this across to here, then when I add those values together, this should equal to minus m r r r cosine theta r. So give me the the opposite uh, of of this guy. But it can be, uh, you know, we're running out of page here, so it might be better to to put these values in in uh, vertical format. So maybe just add them up here. When we add them all up, we're going to get the minus uh, value of m r cosine theta r. And Similarly, if we uh, do for the vertical forces, we'll have the sine values. So we can just put them in a in a in a column like that, add them all up, and whatever value we get, we just change the sine, and we'll have m r r r sine theta r. And uh, the reason I said that is it's uh, much easier to do these problems using a, a table or a spreadsheet. But uh, for here, we'll just use a table. So here's my table. So blade one is 20.01 at 301 uh, millimeters, which is 0.301 meters. So I get MR, I have the angle. So we measure the angle from here. So that's 90 degrees. That's going to be 210. And that's going to be 330. Okay. So I have my mass my radius for each for each blade and I can get MR sine theta and MR cosine theta for each one of these values okay so the sine of 90 multiplied by 6.02 gives me 6.02 cosine of 90 cosine of 90 by 6.02 gives me 0 and so forth so I've got all my values here. So this is this is M1 R1 uh, sine 1 here. So that's that value there. That's that value there. And that's that value there. When I add them all up, 
Okay, so when I when I add them all up, um, <clears throat> I will get m r r r sine theta r. So in this case, that's zero. Right, so that's that's zero. When I uh, do the cosine, so m one r one cosine theta one is here. M r two r two cosine theta two is there. M three r three cosine theta three is there. When I add those all up, I get 0 0.04. But that is minus m r r r cosine theta four. So that means that m r r r cosine theta four is the uh, reciprocal of that. So it's sorry, not the reciprocal. It's it's the opposite sign of that. It's uh, Minus point zero four. Okay, I hope that doesn't confuse you. Look, so when we add them all up, we get the minus value of that. So we just change. Basically, we just change the sign. So if we have a plus here, then the answer is a minus. Okay, if there is no um, vertical component, that means it's all uh, horizontal, and it makes our uh, solution a, a bit easier. So our cosine value was minus 0.04, so it's to the left, it's in that direction. There is no vertical component that's zero, so MRRR uh, is just 0.04, and the angle is uh, this angle here, which is 180 degrees. And that's what we have, that's what we have shown here. So that's, that's our solution, there's that purple. Uh, vector there. Okay, so that's our solution for that, that problem.